looking for answers today. Mad dads held a walk in Moncrief, hoping to get answers in the November shooting death of a 23-year-old man. According to his mother, Nicholas Miller II died on West 23rd Street near Wilson Street. She spoke with News for Jacks reporter Zach Lashaway about finding justice. On a cold January day, nearly 50 people gathered to break the code of silence in the shooting death of Nicholas Eugene Miller II. Sorry. Leading the group that. is Christina Harris. I have a very strong personality, but him being my son, um, he always knew how to cater me, but I used to say he was handling me, but he knew how to cater to me. Caressed by the love she and her son shared. Um, he was my oldest child. He was had just turned 23, actually, um, a month prior, a few weeks prior to that, his murder. Um, he was my firstborn. Um, I had several children die during birth, delivery before him. Um, I was told that he wouldn't be one that make it, but he did. He and I fought for his life. And he was my kid. He was my baby. I called him my big baby Nick because that's what he will always be to me. Harris is forging forward, searching for answers on who killed her child. And my son died in a neighborhood that he doesn't know, that doesn't have love for him. You know what I'm saying? A, a, a strange neighborhood, to say the least. He wasn't raised around here. He doesn't live around here. Um, so yeah, he was murdered around here on the cold pavement. My son died, took his last breath with the pastor at this church holding his hands. Harris says her son was an upstanding young man. He played football for Pop Warner. He played football for Highlands Middle School. He played football for Lee. Like, he volunteered. He was in the youth ministry. What was this holiday season like without him? Horrible. I am a family social bug when it comes to holidays. I didn't have holidays this year. Thanksgiving was not Thanksgiving. I gave thanks for my life, but I did not give thanks for the things that I normally would be as all of my children because one is gone. Christmas was a blur. I'm just being honest. And New Year's was living hell. And all of these emotions are daily for me. And maybe when we get this, the justice wheel to turn, then I can start the healing process. I cannot heal. I can't even start that process until this person is off the streets. When you see this type of response in this community where he lost his life, what does that mean to you as his mom? It's a reflection of my child. It has nothing to do with me. I know my family love me. They care for me. But I'm going to be honest with you. They love my kid. My village raised my kid. I shared my kid with all of these people and all of the people that were not able to make it here, but they are here in love and spirit. Nicholas was a special kid, and the turnout speaks for that. Harris's hope is to someday be united with her son. Hopefully I can get to see my child again. I, I, you know what I mean? One day in heaven. In Jacksonville, Zach Lajway, Channel 4, The Local Station.